Hello, you yeah, wee beauties. How's it all going? Yeah. Oh, guys, it's, it's so wonderful to have you all here, honestly. I'm just so enjoying this. For the company. <laughs> Ty, see, look, I went through a breakup this year. Aww. Yeah, left me for a 20 year old. Aww. Score. <laughs> so now I'm just alone, a bit chubby, I'm deflated. Oh. Just like my ex's penis. <laughs> Not my fault, by the way. <laughs> but it is, it's tough, this being single, guys. You, you face a lot of challenges when it's just you living alone. Like my TV, for instance. It costs me during my binge to forget sessions. You know the sort, right? Sends me messages right in the middle of my programme saying stuff like, we're gonna shut this whole operation down due to your inactivity. This is how I imagine my teller to talk to me, by the way. <clears throat> Unless... You press any button within the next 55 seconds. What? I didn't sign up for this crystal maze level shit. So then I'm scrambling around, desperately searching my remote for the any button. Yeah. Now I know how my ex must have felt. But look, there is a step worse than just being single. And it's been single and skin, right? <laughs> so when that moment comes where I'm thought an eye eye, <laughs> wiping away those tears, thinking about that ex plowing that 20 year old instead of my 38 year old ass, you know? So I'm wiping away the tears. But no, no, you can't reach for the Kleenex super soft during this nervous breakdown. Those are expensive bastards, right? <laughs> So you have to swap that out, you know, for like that Poundland Lural. You know, the one ply feels like two kind of thing. It's the sort of stuff that when I blow my sad, sad nose into it, all of the snot just comes shooting straight through and onto my tits. And even that makes me think of them. I had to resort to the inevitable, guys. Online dating. Oh, no. But that's not where this story ends, no, no. But it is where the absolute horror maze that is online dating leads my internet search history to. Mm, Mum, cover your ears for this bit. <clears throat> Wanna hear my top three searches this weekend so far? Okay. Okay, so we started with how to find a man that wants me, but doesn't want pegged. <laughs> yeah. Look, and, and just for clarity, sir, pegging is an anal sex act in which a woman penetrates a man's anus with a strap-on dildo. Look, and seriously, no judgment. You do you. Well, I guess she does you. <laughs> But uh, after having lived with a couple of men in my life so far and having washed their underwear, oh, no. guys, we know how you wipe down there. And I swear to God, it must be with that Poundland Luro. <laughs> so, search continues. How to find a man that's tall, emotionally available, wise, it's good for the heart, ladies and likes to be called Daddy. <laughs> well, we all have our kinks. <laughs> Some of you men want to be fucked up the bum bum. Whereas I just want to be fucked up. <laughs> and so the search comes to an end. And then we ask ourselves, <laughs> how to tell the man that I'm sleeping with that I've got chlamydia <laughs> without infecting his marriage. <laughs> oh, guys. No, look, seriously, look, I am as shocked as you are about this one. Oh, sorry, you're shocked about the married man part, not the chlamydia. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, you're right, that is the worst part. Must, must remember for the future. 
guys, there's just something about that man with the two kids, a newborn, and a reduced sleep schedule. It just makes him such a good daddy. I've been Lindsay McKenzie. Thank you so, so much.